guys, I'm Amanda the G here. I really need to talk about this fever dream of a movie, and if I can't get it out of my head, then neither can you. I feel like this doesn't need a spoiler alert because this movie, which was after a series released like 20 years ago, but just in case, uh, spoiler alert from something that came out in the 90s and this in 2001. When this movie came out, I had no idea that it actually existed, but I did watch the entire TV series back in the day. So when I had my tonsils out and I wanted stuff to watch and I just got a bunch of DVDs, I got one of the series was The Pretender series. So for those of you who don't know, The Pretender is about this guy Jared. He doesn't know his last name. He doesn't know anything about his family or anything about who he actually is because when he was a small child, he was stolen from his family by a conglomeration that does who knows what called the Zenter, which is kind of a little bit evil. So as an adult, he escapes from the Zenter and then he starts experiencing real life and he has the ability to become anyone that he wants to be. He was part of their pretender program where they stole a whole bunch of children who had this capacity. He then uses that for good when he's out in the real world and he pretends to be different people and he does things to help people out. And it's overall a nice, happy, happy story. And of course, the center wants him back, so they just chase after him to try and get him back. And like any good show, it was canceled after I think like four seasons with a whole bunch of cliffhangers. So to be nice, they released a movie, and the first one was The Pretender 2001, which guess what, it came out in 2001, which was supposed to tie up all of the loose ends from the series. It tied up most of them, not all of them, but you know what, that's fine, it gave you a nice little wrap up, it, not everything has to be a perfect bow, and it was fine. But also on this DVD is a second side of the second movie, which you would think would be the same basic thing, where it continues where the first movie left off, ties up some more loose ends, and lets you leave with a happy, happy ending. But instead, The Pretender, The Island of the Haunted came out. So it does finish where that other movie left off. However, it then makes a series that was not at all sci-fi into a sci-fi series. They're studying symbols, and then that takes them to this remote island that apparently doesn't have children, and the dead walk among the street, because you definitely see children, and there's a whole bunch of, like, sci-fi related stuff of who is alive and who isn't alive, and they're being able to see things, and there's this whole storm, and it's pouring down rain, and then it's snowing, and then it's pouring down rain, and it's snowing because it's the devil's storm, and they're trying to find these sacred scrolls. So Jared goes there to find his mom, because he saw these symbols, and it got related back to that island, and he thinks that his mom is on this island, so he goes there for that, and of course the center sends Miss Parker to go and go after Jared to find him on this island, and then there's the storm, and then at the same time they're also trying to find these scrolls, which, by the way, the triumvirate, which is the head of the center, has already come into the center and like did this weird heist thing to try and get these scrolls that were apparently at the center that were never at the center. While they're on the island, it has to be evacuated, and then there's like this little girl who's still like on the island because the little girl is actually a girl that was killed by her father after he found these sacred scrolls, and she had re-hidden them, and she's helping Miss Parker and Jared find these scrolls that she had re-hidden even though she knew that they were evil. It's a whole weird thing. But also, she goes to her gravestone, and she is Miss Parker. Like, her gravestone is for little Miss Parker. And then Miss Parker realizes that this is her family, like, her grandfather killed his entire family, moved to the U.S., and then started the center, and then had more kids, and then she also finds out, again, a total spoiler, but she also finds out that Reigns is actually her uncle, but he might actually be her father. She doesn't know if her father her fa is her father or if Reigns is, because apparently they're actually brothers, even though you never actually knew that before. But that's actually part of the series, to just have, oh, this person is, rel is like related to this other person. That's not the sci-fi part. So they finally find the scrolls, more people from the center come, they get on a plane, and they are going to parachute out, this is their plan, is to parachute out of the plane with the scrolls and with Jared, so that way the center can still have power over the triumvirate instead of the triumvirate just taking over everything. And there's a whole question of if these scrolls are real, if they actually believe them, what's actually happening, and then Jared basically convinces 
uh, Mr. Parker to go through and like read these scrolls. You don't actually see him read them, but it's like a really weird thing. And apparently the scrolls are an entire prophecy of the center creation and what will happen at the center. So he takes a parachute, gets rid of all the other parachutes, gets the scrolls, jumps out, and then we're supposed to like go back to normal. I don't know what happened in this movie. There were ghosts, there was a haunted church, there were members of the church who were like literally fighting to the death to protect these scrolls that they apparently didn't know where they were and didn't know what they contained. No questions were answered at all. It was just, here's all these open questions, but oh, by the way, we're gonna tell you Reigns might actually be your dad, but there's no sort of anything else other than that, and that wasn't an open question before so they didn't answer any of the open questions and then they were just like you know what this series needs this series needs ghosts and on top of that you can tell with the actors by the end they're like this is shit they just stopped acting it was terrible it was like what is even happening you're not even your characters anymore and it was just like oh now we go back to normal where where you want, it's still, this ender still chasing Jared. Like, that's where it went back to. There was no resolution. There was just ghosts and a scroll and total spoiler alert. But apparently the scrolls say that Jared is the chosen one. Whatever that means. If you've ever watched this movie, please let me know in the comments and please let me know why. Why? Why is it sci-fi all of a sudden? Stay fresh, cheese bags. In the middle of filming, one of my neighbors got on their motorcycle and started, like, zooming around the neighborhood. So, uh, if there's some weird sounds in the background, that's what that was. I couldn't film around it because it was random.